Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're talking about Dasani water and pretty much what's in it. Like what's in Dasani water, all right? Now, if you have not seen any of my videos before and you end up liking what you hear, which I'm pretty sure you won't, but if you enjoy the energy and the content I provide, you wanna hit that subscribe button so you can get more tips, tricks, and tactics on improving your wellness, all right? Well, further ado, what is in Dasani water? Like, what is this? I mean, we see the back of the ingredients. We see the back, we see the ingredients, but what is it, all right? So let me go ahead and break this down for you. So first off, we have purified water. Now, purified just is a great sounding word, and it means that they removed all of the bad stuff and the good stuff from the water, right? So you want to pure you want to remove all the bad stuff that's in the original water that makes sense but you don't want to remove the minerals and the minerals are is what makes water vital for us okay when we consume water it provides us the minerals and everything that we need so our body can flourish right our body is about 70 75 percent water and so we need those minerals so purified water it can be done in a variety of ways. It can be done through reverse osmosis. It can be done through distilled. It can be done through numerous just filters and filtration. But either way, purified water means that all the minerals have been removed from the water. Okay, so that's the first thing. And now that water is a scavenger. It is looking for minerals. And so now they're adding stuff into it and these minerals are inorganic, okay? It means that they don't sit well with the body and the body is gonna have a tough and difficult time trying to break them down. But let's see the minerals that they added in here anyhow. The first one is magnesium sulfate, okay? Now, magnesium sulfate is Epsom salt, all right? That's essentially what it is. This is Dr. Sills King Himalayan Mineral Soak. And if I turn to the back, the very first ingredient on here is magnesium sulfate, and in parentheses it says Epsom salt. All right, so that's the first thing in this water is salt, right? But it doesn't say that. They, they call it by the scientific name of specifically what kind of salt. All right, so the second thing is potassium chloride. Now, when you hear of chloride, you also think of a type of salt, right? So this is a potassium salt. And this can be found in a lot of fertilizers and it's used to treat soil that's meant for our crops and harvest, right? So just keep that in mind. This is another salt that is added to the water. Last but not least, there's salt. <laughs> like there's extra, extra salt that's in this. In case you weren't feeling salty enough, there's extra salt in this water and there you have it. That is everything that is in here. Oh, except one more thing. And this one's actually probably just as serious as all the salts combined. And it's not on the label, okay? So you have to think about this. Water is a scavenger and it's constantly eating away at the plastic, right? That's why this plastic is pretty, pretty flimsy. You don't know when you get this bottle of water. So as it sits in the sun, as it sits and gets eaten away, it creates a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen, okay? 75% of men and women who have too much breast cancer end up having too much xenoestrogen in their body. And it can be, one of the factors that plays a role in that is the water that is in plastic bottles, okay? So even though it's BPA, even if it's BPA free, it's still going to do it. It's just going to take a little bit more time, but it's going to start eating away that plastic and it's going to create that carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. So that is everything in a Dasani water. So what's in it? Once again, you have purified water, magnesium sulfate, potassium chloride, salt, and possibly some traces of that xenoestrogen. All right? That's what's in this water. If you want to learn more about it and how it impacts your wellness and how good it is for drinking, you want to check out my other videos on YouTube and to learn more about a water that's actually good for your health, that's actually gonna help push out toxins, that's gonna give you energy, that's gonna help your body do what it can do, which is heal itself, you wanna check out my Facebook page because I have videos on there that's too hot for YouTube, and so you definitely wanna check those out. The link is in the description below, and let me know if you have questions, let me know if you have comments, and I look forward to getting back with you.
Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.